Okay, it's Brian again. So uh, back in the lab, we have a VHF antenna hooked up to our CW source and our integrated FM modulator signal. Um, so we've got everything biased up here again. We've got 60 milliamp quiescent current. And this time I'm doing something a little bit different because I'm actually transmitting wirelessly our 10 dBm signal. I've hooked up what we call an RF sniffer on the input of my spectrum analyzer. And you can see I'm detecting the signal now. And where we were at 10 dBm earlier, we're measuring the signal now at about, I don't know, negative 35 dBm. If I bring the source up, I can probably show that it gets a little bit stronger as I get closer. So here we go now. It's a little bit of delay on the signal. There we go. So now we're getting about negative 20. That seems reasonable to me. Um, so I'm not going to demodulate the signal this time on the signal analyzer. I'm going to do it actually on a 2 meter FM transceiver. This is a Kenwood uh, FM dual band radio and I can receive 2 meter uh, 144 megahertz signals on here and transmit. Um, so right now I have it tuned really hard to see. Um, you can kind of see it. 144.195 which corresponds to about what I have it tuned to here on the signal analyzer. And now I'm going to come over to the function generator and I'm going to dial in a frequency uh, to be consistent. I'll go ahead and dial in a 400 hertz signal. And you can see now I'm picking it up on the radio And if I change that frequency to one octave to 800 hertz, see it increases. 1600, 3200. It's barely audible there. Okay, that's all I want to show. Thanks, guys.